In this video I'm going to show you how you can override existing standard application function with own logic which you can add with uh, your own control program. For this example we are starting with the fan call unit application and the fan call unit application has a variable speed fan which is then also controlled with the enable fan speed signal. And this enable fan speed signal we would like to override now with a manual input on the controller. When we check quickly the controller, I have prepared here an application on an E18. Um, this is just for the reason that we have here enough free inputs available for these kind of application changes. When we start now here in the room segment, we see first of all we need to have one of the inputs, a binary input, which can then be connected to a signal where we want to have then the possibility to manipulate the fan in addition to the standard application function. I will add first here a binary input. I will use a generic one. Normally open. I will give it here a name from the text picker. Let's check what we have here for fan enable. Enable fan here, for example, we use that one with the text picker. Maybe you remember we also apply always possibility then to translate the name and the description into other languages. If we choose uh, our own name, then it will be not translatable into other languages. Then we have the input prepared. We are going now also to add an own control program because we want to place there the input um, in the CFC of that application function. I will use here the default names for the control program. Of course, here you can also adapt it to your own uh, needs. And now we have here the control program ready and we see here also the new input. I will drag and drop now the input into my CFC plan and there it is ready for my programming work and on the other side I'm also now going to have a look on the enable fan speed output block. For this I'm just using here right click in the context menu show in program and there it is I'm directly on the block which is the output for the fan speed signal. Now how to connect now the input directly with that output block. For this we need first of all to enable here uh, more inputs. We can simply do so by selecting the block and then in the properties of that block we see here the interfaces and here we have a list of all the interfaces and as you can see interface 1 to 3 is used already but interface 4 is still available. With unchecking here the box they are getting visible in our CFC plan and now we are ready here to connect our input signal. To connect now a uh, CFC block from another chart to this chart, we simply split the window. We see now here on the left side the fan speed block. Here we see our enable uh, block and now we simply go to one of the pin, for example the process value pin and we click it. I drop it over here to the other chart and just drag it, drop it here on the value input pin of number four of that fan speed block. By doing so, I'm creating an interchart connection. When you follow here on the to the right side, you see here also that this is now connected to this chart and to that block. I can do then the same for the other connections here, for example, the validation I can put to the enable. 
And at the end of the day, I can here then define also the priority which I want to use for that input. And as you can see, we have on that fan speed already three priority used. So we have an emergency priority which is used in the standard application. We have a protection and we have a priority 15. And let's assume we want to here now change it to the priority 13 manual building user. This is uh, just an example, you can also go with other priorities here. So that's it, how we can override with an input, uh, with a new input, uh, existing standard application functionality. And this is of course also possible to use uh, input standard functionality. Um, to create your own code. Also here the same mechanisms apply. You find the right block here just by clicking the context menu, show in program, and then you are navigated directly to the corresponding block. And from there you are able then to reuse these data in your own application in your own control program.